Gaming Noodle here with another episode of Odden Sphere, this time Velvet's Chapter. <laughs> the blazing columns from above have completely shattered the land! The abyss swallows all! Grandfather! Why, it's you, Velvet. So, even you have come to bid the world farewell in these final moments. Not even destiny can stop the bloodlines. Grandfather, please stop. Mother would not want this. You are the result of my beloved daughter's betrayal. You are the very reason I find myself in hell. Do you understand? Then take it out on me. Take only my life. Why punish the world? Stand back! Grandfather! Do you want me to wring your neck too and relive that horrifying experience again? You resemble her too much. Look away from me! I am insane enough. Worry not. I will take everyone along with me. To the end of the world! The cauldron. What's going on? What is going on? So, that last episode, I, I found that very sad. Mercedes' story is very sad to me. It's good, like you get so, you get like a mini victory, considering that, uh, considering what happens to King Onyx. But still, it's just so sad that like, why do so many people have to die? It sucks. But I guess this is the end of the world, and now here we are fighting the dreaded cauldron, this infamous thing that has had nations fighting for it. For so many decades. Now this uh, this fight can be uh, pretty annoying, actually, if if you're not at the appropriate level. Uh, because as you saw when I was on top, there are these four uh, things. I don't know what you will call them. Look, you see those? They they're sticking out. They they attack you. Now, of course, they each have their own life, and if you don't kill them quick enough, it gets really annoying, actually. And they, you know, they'll kill you pretty fast, and knock you off, and it's just not good. If you get to a good level of, uh, if you get to a good cypher level for your attacks, you can destroy them in a few attacks, which is good. Now, as you can see, when you attack the star, that's your whole goal, to attack the star piece at the top. Uh, to kill it. After a few hits, there's a certain amount of damage again that you can do before it stops you, and it kind of you it disables attacking, so you can't really attack it anymore, and then it tips you off. There is a way to actually use her swinging to swing out and then back again. Uh, now, see that is okay what I just did but it takes good aim and good practice, but that's actually not the best way to do it. Like, there is a way to swing back onto it and land right on top, straight away, instead of, like, just below it. But it, it doesn't matter. Whichever one is fine, as long as you don't fall all the way to the, to the bottom, and then you have to climb all the way up, you know? But, so there you go. See, it, um, I destroy it in pretty quick succession. It makes it boss fight a lot easier. I actually remember when I first played this game and I was doing it in the wrong order as well. I think I was playing as Gwendolyn. So I was Gwendolyn and I was low level and this boss was an absolute nightmare. I still managed to defeat it somehow after like a hundred tries but oh my god it was just absolutely ridiculous the amount of effort it took. You know it's actually pretty easy like um this fight with Velvet is actually very easy, to be honest with you. But like I said, once again, you need to get to the appropriate levels, and then you'll be just fine. 
doing it. If you, you know, if you're having trouble, just make sure you stock up on uh, food, and I mean proper good food that you can get from the Puka Village. Uh, yeah, and potions. You know, there's unlimited uh, pal potions. There's painkillers. There's all sorts of things that you can use to help you uh, if you're having a lot of trouble and you need that extra push to uh, beat it. But uh, you're gonna see what happens now with Velvet's story. You, you, you know, you're trying to stop this massive cauldron from s swallowing the life force of the whole Earth. But it's already taken quite a lot. You saw at the beginning the amount that was being taken. And remember that baby dragon, Leviathan, is actually still in that thing. Sleeping, I guess. But all those phosons, I guess, are transferring straight to that little baby dragon. Oh, it sucks. But everything, you know, when I looked at last episode, everything's destroyed. Mercedes is dead. Ingwe is dead. Ozin is dead, Onyx, even though he was a bit of a twat, is dead, everyone's dead. Well, let's see, is anyone going to die this time? What's going to become of Arion? Enjoy the episode, and I'll see you for the last chapter of Armageddon with Gwendolyn. That should be fun. The final boss is up next. Enjoy, guys, and I will see you in a bit. Furnace's core survives, but with the systems destroyed, it cannot move or fire its beams. What's your scheme, Velvet? <laughs> the cauldron is mine. No one else can command it. If they try, they will deeply regret it. For I cast a curse on it! What? Uh... Fainted, huh? I cannot forgive your meddling, you... <gasps> huh? Why are you here? In her shape! So pitiful. My hollow eye sockets produce no tears. Too bad, Velvet. My work here is done. Like myself, your inheritance is a mere shell of its former glory. Now come, Leventhen! The time of your awakening is nigh! 